guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video will be a little bit of everything. I am going to be decorating some of our outdoor spaces. I'll be decorating with some thrifted items on my dining table. And then I'm also going to be sharing some of my favorite no-bake recipes that are really fun and festive for the 4th of July. I already have a decorate with me video up for the 4th of July. So if you missed that video, be sure to go back and watch that one as well. And I'm sure that I'll be having more videos to come. So this will just be another video in my 4th of July series. So let's jump into today's video. All right, so these are some of the things that I picked up at the thrift store. I was going specifically to find things to use on my dining table. So I found this suitcase and I think I'm gonna use this on my front porch. Uh, but I also found these clear vases and these frames. So this is something that I will be putting along my tablescape on my dining table. And then I'm just going to print off some images to put inside of the frames that will have something to do with the four so they will be patriotic. And anytime I find a rolling pin, I always snag one of those because I love adding these to my decor in my kitchen. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me i can promise you're the only these books are also something that i thrifted a while ago so i am just adding those onto this tablescape as well and this candle is a new one that i got from antique candle co i will have them linked in the description below this is my favorite smell I have ever smelled and if you guys know me you know how much i love the leaves candle from bath and body works this one is even better so if you like that smell you will love this scent Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds now moving on to some desserts. This is one of my favorite desserts of all time. I feel like you can't go wrong with a layered dessert. So to start, you're going to need this pound cake and you're just going to cut them into slices and then cut them into cubes. And we will use this for all of the cake layers. Basically what I'm going to do is in the jars, I'm going to layer the cake with some strawberries and some blueberries and then do a layer of whipped cream and then just continue with the layers until the jar is full. For this next dessert, I'm going to be making some brownie shish kebabs. So you're gonna need some skewers and then really whatever kind of other dessert or fruit you want to mix with this. So I'm using brownie bites that I just picked up at the store with some strawberries, some marshmallows and blueberries. And then I'm just going to layer them in this order. I used marshmallows because I wanted to have something that was red, white and blue. And I thought the mix of these flavors would taste really good together.
And then for the last scissor idea, this is a really, really simple one. And I actually had the idea of just getting some store-bought cupcakes that already had the frosting on them. And I could not find any that were just plain. I only could find ones with sprinkles. So I ended up finding these little cakes and I thought just adding some whipped cream on top would taste really good. And then I'm adding some raspberries, blueberries, and then to top it off, I have these little flag toothpicks that I found on Amazon. So I will have those linked for you guys below. My hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah, that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you so to finish off our back area, I thought it'd be fun to add some bunting along the back of our fence just because we do hang out here on the 4th. We like to have family and friends over after the parade and we have like a big barbecue back here. So I wanted our back area to look festive, but I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like here with the pergola because in our last video when we did the patio reveal and we did the whole makeover, the pergola was not here yet. This was something that we had ordered two months in advance and it just barely got here. So I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the pergola and everything finished off. I just feel like it looks so much better. I loved how it looked before, but I love it so much more with the pergola here and it does help provide more shade, which I feel like will help our patio furniture stay looking nicer a little bit longer. But to end the night, we thought it'd be fun to light some sparklers and have some s'mores with the kids. And this again is one of our favorite places to hang out in the back. It's just making me so much more excited for summer. I'm so happy it's finally warm here. We've had some cooler days and some rainy days, but it's been really nice having those 80 to 90 degree temperatures this past week. I feel like it finally feels like summer here. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure to do that. And we will see you guys in the next video. No.